Greetings everyone and welcome back to Thomas Was Alone. My name is Jason Arlani and we're on part 4 of this little playthrough. Click the bottom annotation on your screen and it'll take you back to part 3. And if you click the top annotation, it'll take you all the way back to part 1 if you want to either watch it again because you're weird like that, or if you join me in the middle of it and you're trying to start from the beginning. For those of you who are on the right track, uh, well, <laughs> let's put it this way. I know I've a stopwatch so that way I can try to keep this one down to... Uh, relatively decent time. Um, I looked at the other videos, which you've already seen by the time you've seen this one, but I'm recording them all in one night. And I've looked at the other videos and noticed that one, like, 20 minutes, one, like, half an hour, and I can, like, 45 minutes, and it's just in the place. So I have a stopwatch now, so that way I can actually time how long I'm actually recording the video after my intro. Uh, I don't do the intro into it, so like, 15 to 30 seconds. Um, so yeah, we're gonna continue on, and I have to stop watching that way I don't to keep messing up. Because I need to stop doing that. So, looks like, well, looks like one where I just kind of have the time where I'm running, and, um, just wait until the opening comes so that way I can move forward. Oh, uh, wait. Or is it one that I can jump over. Haha, -ha, I get it now. I can't make that gap, so I have Why did to... Thomas even want to spend time with James? Was he not repulsed by his weird colour? Hmm. So I'm actually gonna... It looks like one of those where it's like you have the, uh... Uh, areas to run at all times. I'm gonna actually continue on through there. There we go. So, it looks like it's going to have a bunch of respawn points during the middle of it, and you just kind of have to find your balance. Did he not care about his inversions? Yeah, I'm just gonna see how long I can keep this up. It might end up being what you're supposed to do. What I can guess is... Well, maybe not. Oh, I think I might see what I'm supposed to do. It's because this is the only way to get James across. And then now that he's... Attached, I can go. Wait James up. was having fun for the time being. Thomas.
I jump with James, then um, Thomas falls down too. So to practice this theory, we're just gonna get to a more open space. And then if I go a little bit closer, and there you go. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's what they gotta do. Okay. Assuming it works the same way for if Thomas jumps. So now they both made it there. head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. Another person to join me. Oh, I can tell the end is just gonna be like amazing and frustrating at the same time. Because now you gotta get to stay there. That's cool. And she I have spoke to another person. in terms she could only hope they might understand of the fountain of wisdom, the channel through which all data flowed. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. More, more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. And she, Sarah, would know how to escape it. Hmm. The red one who spoke wisely for a lesser, 
offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered of the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marveled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. different controls that you can use. You can use, for instance, A and D to move left and right, and then your jump would be W, or you can use the arrow keys, and you can do space for the jump as well. And I was trying to do A and D as the uh, movement, and uh, space as the jump, and my finger would keep hitting the W, so I'd jump into places that I didn't want to. So now I've switched that my right hand can actually do something, and my left hand can also do something. I know, I probably look like an idiot just trying to get past this level. When somebody who's already played it's probably like, oh, really?
down. wondered at the possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. Harder, not easier, in my opinion. Nice curves. Jump each? These were truly weak creatures. They possessed heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. Okay, so that lets them go. And now he oh, oops. And he's gotta jump through these. Sarah, sense the presence of the fountain. Just one more portal to go, and then she would have the knowledge. And then, escape! Yeah, no, he's... 
supposed to do the other way. looked at the glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. And the screaming. was connected to the internet for 12 seconds and he had seen everything he'd seen the cat who couldn't spell he'd heard of the arrow through the knee he felt there was probably a thing called cake but that it was a lie <laughs> oh my god oh that is brilliant oh i love it love every bit of it all right um she can go up here and hit that switch, which brings those down. Oh, that was just utterly brilliant. Alright, that brings that down. So he can go up there. Oh, no. Try to double jump, but it's not working because Thomas can't double jump. to do. He hoped the others would understand. They were just beyond the next portal. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. Switch. Switch to 
to Chris and grab the uh, achievement because I see it. But Thomas is not going to hit that because, because he's not. Alright, Chris going to jump across. I guess John is right there. We got to be able to walk through. Tried to catch him. This is kind of cool. Fall back. We're gonna use Thomas. You can jump with those guys. Oh no! Don't move John out of the way. Again, John. Oh, I knew I was gonna get all confused. All right, so I'm gonna put you back there. We're gonna put Thomas on this side as well. We're gonna, oh, John's gonna move too. We're gonna jump you over there. John's gonna go through to there. Oh, good lord. Sarah was deflated. She'd not even got close to the fountain. She could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. Hmm, okay. So what it's looking like is... Each one has to be in their own individual spot, and you have to kind of find out where the best spot is, because there's only certain spots that they can go. Laura obviously can only stay on the ground because she can't jump high enough to get to any of those places there. Uh, so Sarah, I'm going to move off to the side. We're going to move John over here. Uh, you... Oh, that's Sarah. Ah, oh, this is for being colorblind. Can, uh, I know. Oh, wow, I'm all the way up to seven. And jumping high enough to get there? Probably not. Okay. So, she's gonna be staying there. That's where she's gonna stay. Thomas, Ooh. and she can't go around, so Thomas has to go down. Through here, um, and I'll continue this level with you guys in the next episode, because like I said, I do want to keep these down, um, but it's kind of cool that now all of them are back, and I don't know if we've got anyone else that's going to come, but I doubt it, um, so I think we're actually getting closer to the end, so I'm going to end this here, and we'll continue the rest of our adventure through Thomas Was Alone.